Let's try to catch some criminals by using my very bad artistic skills. Hello everybody, I'm Kindly Kian and welcome to Lina. This is a game where we have to actually catch criminals by drawing their descriptions. And if you haven't been around for very long, you'll learn very quickly that I am not good at drawing. So this is gonna be a nightmare. But as you can see, we're being provided with the description of whoever this criminal was. Looks like she was wearing an orange skirt. So first step, pick the color orange. I got that part down. Nice, a skirt. Okay, so you can like draw a line there and then just go straight down oh I, I can't go down any further okay so it's gonna be a slightly shorter skirt and then but just color it in as best as I can I don't know if I actually have to color in what I'm drawing but there you go beautiful skirt next and blonde hair okay we'll we'll go with yellow and we're gonna give her like crazy spiky hair beautiful finish so now we have to use this amazing artist rendition of the criminal to identify who did the crime. It's not this guy. This lady has fangs. That's terrifying. What's wrong with your eyes? Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close. That's an orange skirt, but that is like reddish orange hair. Not what we're looking for. There she is. You think you're so innocent. Oh my gosh, is that Baldy? Why is Baldy in a lineup? This is the one. Blonde hair, orange skirt. How do I... Oh, arrest. Let's go. You're going down, lady. Guilty, let's go. I'm very good at catching criminals. Give me some cash. I made 125 bucks. And look, there you go, arrest number two. And now I can be a cool sheriff dude. Okay, so this is the first criminal that I caught. It was like the tutorial level. The barber shop burglar. What did he do? Steal hair? Gross. Report card. Worked as a cook, made friends, on time for visitors. Do we keep him in jail or do we release him? I did not realize this was part of the job. I just thought I was a sketch artist. Art is my calling, not deciding whether or not a criminal needs to be released. However, I will say, it seems like he did good stuff, so let's release him, I guess? You served your time. There you go, S stop selling hair. I think they have learned their lesson. I made the right decision, apparently. Made 125 bucks, and now I can upgrade my, my office, yeah. Nice. All right, let's move on to our next case. The Dizzy Intruder, the award show swindler, or the fake nosed fraud? But I have to watch an ad for that one. It, I mean, I'm. you know what? Because it's called the fake nosed fraud, I'm doing it. All right, was that lady wearing a clown nose? Maybe she's the real criminal. Anyways, her hair was light brown. Okay, so we'll make it like real curly. In fact, she's basically playtime from Baldi's Basics, beautiful hair. Next, please. She had crazy eyes, what? What does that even mean? Okay, hold on. It didn't tell me the color of her eyes, so I'm just gonna go with blue. What do crazy eyes look like? I mean, that's that's a crazy person, but also, no, that's... I mean, that does look pretty crazy. Okay, we're, we're sticking with that. Those are crazy eyes. Next, and she was in disguise. What? What does that mean? She was in disguise. You gotta be more descriptive, clown nose lady. Never trust a clown. That's what I'm learning from this. I mean, if we're drawing Playtime, we might as well finish the look, right? So Playtime wears a red shirt. So I'm just gonna give, oh no, Playtime wears a red like dress. It, it goes all the way down. There you go. I have drawn Playtime. She's disguised as playtime. What is happening? Okay, I mean, that kind of fits the description. She does have crazy eyes, but that's not really light brown hair, is it? That's more red hair. I don't know, let's keep looking. Oh my gosh, what is happening here? That's definitely a disguise. Oh, you're sweating. Look at you. Why are you sweating so profusely? Also, sir, why are you so stinky? Get out of here, man, you're so stinky. Okay, wait a second. We got another, no, 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 no. I don't want to arrest these people. I just want to look at them. She's also quite suspicious, but she's not sweating. I don't know. I think it's this one, but wait, crazy eyes. I mean, the swirly eyes are pretty crazy. This lady, she's just, she's just hot, I guess. That's why she's sweating so much. We got to turn up the AC. You're the one. Arrest. Please be right. Please be right. Please be right. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is incredible. I'm having a fantastic time, even though I'm very bad at drawing. Arrested. Get out of here or stay in there. Let's upgrade our office. 
Oh, look at me. I have a laptop now. Now we're talking technology. Next case, please. World's smallest heist. Oh my goodness. These special cases have such good names. Although I do like the award show swindler. So let's go with it. Okay, sir. You look, you look fairly normal. The first kind of normal person to describe a criminal to us. The thief had red hair. It doesn't say what kind of red hair. So I'm just going to draw a square on this person's head. A very, very unique hairstyle. How they managed to turn their hair into a square, I don't know, but it's very impressive. Okay, next, please. With freckles on their face. Okay, we can do that. Give them some freckles. Good. Next, they also had a tie on, a pink tie. So you draw like a little triangle like that, and then you draw like a longer sort of diamond shape. There you go. And then maybe it was like an Argyle sort of print sort of thing going. I, I don't know exactly what that means, but I'm getting real, real fancy with it. Look at that. That's a beautiful looking tie that could also second for a checkered board or a tablecloth. All right. I'm feeling good about this square red haired man. Where are you? No freckles. Also, you're a woman. No freckles. Freckles, but no red hair. No, no. Mm, maybe this man is wearing a tie. He almost got away with it because he was wearing the same colored shirt as his tie, which I feel like is a fashion faux pas. But what do I know? You should have worn a pink tie with green and blue crisscrosses on it. Just saying. Let's check the other candidates. Okay, it's definitely this guy. You, sir, are under arrest. Enjoy your time in the slammer. Nailed it. Now, what's this VIP thing? I can become RoboCop and I get a dog? You know I had to do it. I mean, it's a dog. Also, I'm a half robot man now. Does that make me better at drawing? Probably not. Next case, please. Let's go with the dizzy intruder. All right. The intruder was very dizzy. I don't know what that means, but uh, maybe that's the, the squiggly eyes. I don't know. Like, you just give them crazy, weird, squiggly eyes. That's the best I can do. All right. They were also wearing a brown hat. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you a brown, like, top hat or like a farmer's hat. Looking great. Let's see. Who did it? Not you because you're not wearing a brown hat. Oh, Dizzy. Okay. So I think this is Dizzy with the stars. I like how I have my dog hanging out making these making these criminals real nervous i'll sick them if you disobey uh she's dizzy he's just got a weird face sorry no offense man this is a really long lineup okay wait a second i didn't see oh wait wait brown hat dizzy now did it specify whether it was a man or woman I don't remember. Oh, no. I mean, really, this lady is the only one who fits the description. She's dizzy. She's wearing a brown hat. You're going to jail, lady. What, what is happening? What? Like, why? Why are you drooling now? OK, whatever. I will take my money and you will enjoy your time in those orange scrubs or jumpsuit. Oh, oh, we've got we've got someone who's been working hard to get the jigsaw jumbler making changes. She started a brawl, kept clothes clean, tried to escape. Oh, yeah. Wow, you've really been making some huge changes in your life. Stay in jail. You are not learning your lesson. Yeah, you think, okay, you're you're upset, but uh, they definitely aren't ready to leave and I made the right decision. I'll take my money and also upgrade my office. Look at that, a desk lamp. We're going places. Next case, please. Ooh, the corner shop culprit times five money. All right, we're taking down the corner shop culprit. I think they were wearing a blue or green top. What? How am I supposed to deal with that? I guess I just draw like half of the shirt in blue. There you go. And then the other half of the shirt slightly more than other half of the shirt <laughs> in green. And then uh, I'll just I'll just fill it in a little bit. Okay. Maybe they were wearing blue and green. Next description, please. Had a dark brown mustache. Okay. This I can work with. What kind of mustache? It doesn't say. So give him a nice curly. Oh no! What? I don't even know what happened there. My tablet went bonkers and now they have a mustache curls one way and then goes straight across their face. Very unique style. We can work with this though. So they're either wearing blue or green and they have a light, you have a light brown mustache and you're wearing blue. But let's keep looking. I don't think it can be anybody else. You're not wearing blue or green. It's this man. He thinks he's so smug with his cool little scarf and that buck tooth smile. No, no, sir. You're under arrest 
you're guilty. Man, I'm good at this. I just made $1,100 for arresting this man. Feels pretty good. Let's upgrade my office. All right, I have a picture now. Of what? I don't know. Probably my dog. I love that dog. I think his name's Copper. It's fantastic. Oh, I can upgrade my office again. Nice. Now I'm official. Up to this point, I was kind of winging it, but now I have a certificate and there's no getting around that. Next case, please. World's smallest heist. This actually used to be one of the special cases. So let's take it. The robber was wearing purple. Purple what? A purple box. They were literally in a purple box. That's what I'm going with. It's all the rage. Just poke some holes in the side. You're good to go. Next. She, okay? This is important. She had her hair tied up. It doesn't say what color her hair was, so we'll just go with brown. And, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna try to draw a ponytail. So, like... Give her hair up here. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. And then you just kind of give her like a little ponytail off to the side. I'm scared I'm going to hit the, the finish button. And then you have a little hair tie. There you go. Man, art. Unbelievable. Okay. You are not wearing purple. You're also not in a purple box. You're lost. You are wearing purple, but your hair is not in a ponytail. Ah, two ponytails. You might be overachieving. Let's keep looking, but I think it might be her. She also looks very concerned. I mean, it could be this dude. Actually, it absolutely could not be this dude. Boom. You're under arrest, ma'am. Take her to lockup. Oh, man, that, that feels good. Never gets old. Next case, please. The wicked wrongdoer. Wow, that sounds like intense. The missing blood sounds even better. Let's go with that. Hello. Oh, my gosh. It's a clown again. The attacker was scary, dressed in black. What? Okay. So, like, we'll just give him, like, just a weird black, like, trench coat. That seems, like, almost like Batman. This person was actually Batman man. There you go. They had short hair. Wow, that really narrows it down. What color short hair? How about blue? There you go. Oh my gosh, they had fangs? What is wrong with people? All right, that's the best I can do. I, oh, here, I'll give you a mouth. <laughs> looks so bad. I gotta give you eyes now. Oh my gosh, I love the beady eyes. All right, there you go. So we're looking for someone who looks like Batman, but also has fangs like a bat. Amazing. It's not this guy. I'll tell you that much. No, 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 no. Maybe. He doesn't look that scary, though. Like, the dude has a bow tie. There is nothing. There is nothing scary about a bow tie. But that's probably the guy. I mean, he has short hair. He has fangs, which are pretty distinct, I would say. <laughs> There's not a lot of people with fang teeth around here. Weirdo. How do you even do that? You, like, shave your, your front teeth? Pokes? I don't know. You're under arrest. Mostly just because you have weird teeth and I don't like it, but also because you're the criminal and you're guilty. I love that this lady is still dizzy. Like she's been dizzy for like 300 days now. The fake nosed fraud. Went to bed on time. Great. Became friends with cellmate. I'll take that as a, as a thumbs up. Made the bed daily. You know what? Sometimes that's all it takes. Release. You're free. Take off the weird fake glasses and stuff though. Upgrade my office. Handcuffs? I already had handcuffs. I guess now they're on my desk as a decoration or maybe like a scare tactic next case please the clumsy clown yeah all right let's get this description they had a red nose of course they did and of course it was big and it also squeaks huh <laughs> Or honks. Next. They had light blue clothes. Oh my gosh. What if, hear me out. What if this criminal is Huggy Wuggy? What would that even look like? I'm gonna try and draw Huggy Wuggy, okay? As, as the criminal. And then we'll see in the lineup. But you know, I mean, Huggy Wuggy, he's got like fur. So, so I'm giving him some fur here. And then doesn't he have like yellow hands? So Huggy Wuggy has, has yellow hands. So I'm gonna try my best to to draw Huggy Wuggy's yellow hands. I mean, Huggy Wuggy does kind of look like a clamp. I'm just saying. I probably should have gone with the lighter blue. Oh well. This is my artistic interpretation of the creature we know as Huggy Wuggy. It's beautiful. I guess now I kind of have to like finish his his head. Because <laughs> doesn't he like, he almost has like a, a point. Like his head goes off into a point. Oh my gosh. This is actually looking kind of good. I'm gonna fill in the face and then draw over the top of it. So it's gonna make his, his weird nose go away. <laughs> Listen, if the game doesn't want me to draw Huggy Wuggy, they need to be more specific. <laughs> oh my gosh, 
This is actually not terrible. Give him a big old smile. <laughs> this is so dumb. I love it. Do we give him teeth? I mean, yeah. No, that's bad. Try that again. I wish I could pick white. <laughs> so bad good. I love it. And then we gotta give him eyes. Now, the next description is probably gonna ruin the whole thing, but I just, I love the idea of this. You're just going through a lineup of a bunch of normal looking people, and then suddenly it's just Huggy Wuggy. Yeah, I think it might be that monster with the really sharp teeth. Just saying, looking kind of sus. Uh, Huggy Wuggy also has like, uh, I was gonna say white around his eyes. That is just truly terrifying. I'm kind of proud of it. I'm not gonna lie. What's the next description? They did not have a perfect smile. That is not a perfect smile by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, that's a terrifying smile. It might actually be Huggy Wuggy. Let's go. I'm gonna give him bigger pupils here. Also, it's making him look even crazier. Okay, there you go, finish. What were the actual descriptions? I don't even remember anymore, but we're just looking for someone who looks like Huggy Wuggy. Why are you sweating? Oh, right, big red nose, light blue shirt, and had a weird smile. Okay, we can work with that. Is that you, Huggy? Huggy? Mm, that's kind of a messed up smile, but not a light blue shirt. Yeah, nope, that's not gonna work. Okay, you look sus but your smile is kind of normal, but I could totally picture you being inside of a Huggy Wuggy suit. I'm just saying, what's with the weird shorts? Like who wears a long sleeve shirt with shorts and then a bow tie? Not to mention the red clown nose, it's just strange. You're wearing a pink shirt? Oh my goodness, I, oh no. Hmm, this is, okay. Maybe, you know, it could be him, but he doesn't have a big red nose, but the mustache is covering his smile. Man, oh, this is actually the hardest one we've had. Why is this lady sweating so much? You're not wearing light blue. Did it suggest that it was a light blue shirt or was it just light blue? Because like this person has a red nose, is wearing a light blue skirt and has a messed up smile. This guy doesn't have a messed up smile. He meets all the other criteria, what I like to call the huggy wuggy criteria. Yeah, I think it's this lady. I think it's you. Let's see, are you huggy wuggy? Look at me, look at me, expert. Thank you very much. I love that I had the opportunity to draw a terrible Huggy Wuggy. Upgrade my office, please. It's beautiful. Now I have a pin board. Now I'm a true professional.